With Udemy average earnings seemingly declining over the past few years, Ow. instructors are going to be asking, What can I do? Well, I've got some good news for you. There is something you can do. And there's a reasonable chance you won't need to duplicate your efforts. Okay. But you'll be in with the best chance of maximizing your earnings. And that's through having your online courses available on a second platform. In my case, that's by adding Skillshare to my portfolio. And even though it's early days for the Skillshare courses, there is some hope. I'm going to cover a comparison of earnings, average instructor rates, and a nice bonus that Skillshare has to offer over Udemy. The comparison between Udemy and Skillshare will be on this course, which is split into three classes based on the way the Skillshare is set up. But the course content on both platforms is the same, so they are essentially the same product. Instructor earnings for the past 10 months for both platforms looks like this. And what's interesting is that in April 22, the earnings for both platforms were basically the same, give or take a couple of dollars. Drawing this graph in a different way, showing cumulative earnings for each month, shows that Skillshare served as a small supplement to instructor earnings, but was close to equal contributor in March and April. The mean average instructor earnings per month on Udemy for this course was $72.92. We're adding Skillshare to the mix meant that the the last couple of months exceeded the mean average, and the new mean for those 10 months rose to $92.26. Remember that Udemy relies on students finding and enrolling in your courses. You just need good footfall and a good conversion rate. And on a good day, you'll earn around $4 per enrollment as an instructor on Udemy. Whereas Skillshare works on a different structure where you get paid per minute of your course viewed by students that have signed up to Skillshare Premium. So Skillshare is about retention. You need your students to remain engaged and ideally stick around for the whole of your course. Skillshare pay rates, so pay per minute viewed, changes a bit each month, sometimes going up and sometimes going down. This is partly due to the fact that subscription membership fees form the fund for paying instructors. If there are fewer paying students, the pay rates go down. The pay rates I recorded, however, look like this, with a mean average of 7.6 cents per premium minute of course viewed. And what's quite nice is that the last four months have been increasing. Working on the assumption of $4 per average Udemy enrollment you'd need a Skillshare student to watch 53 minutes of your course for an equivalent earning, assuming that you have the same number of students enrolled on both platforms. Whereas you can see, Skillshare was doing that for me, again in March and April. But on average, the students didn't quite watch 53 minutes but instead 29 and 39 minutes in those latter two months. Taking a look over the entire time I've been on Skillshare shows a slightly poorer outlook at around 28 minutes for average student engagement, but at least things are improving. One issue with these classes is that they are like a bank of individual tutorials and how to use the software, but they don't build towards something bigger, like with competitor classes on how to create certain models, like these two. Designing your course in a way that gets students to invest in more than just time for a few lectures is what you need to strive for. As instructors, we need to get the students to see the achievement and satisfaction that they will get by completing the course. So overall for earnings between Udemy and Skillshare, Udemy wins by a fair amount on just this course at $729.21 compared to Skillshare at $193.37 over this 10 month period. But watch this space, these early day trends for Skillshare Skillshare suggests that the impact of Skillshare could be much greater in the future. And I should also say that there were some other earnings from Skillshare, which was a bonus over Udemy. And that's through the referral scheme that Skillshare offers, which used to award instructors $10 per student that signs up to Skillshare Premium. That's where instructors would point to a coupon code or let their audience know where to find one. Link in the description. To my surprise, I was awarded with two referral bonuses since having uploaded my classes to Skillshare Skillshare, meaning $20 in total, and that had to come from one of my previous YouTube videos, so whoever that was, 
thank you very much. So overall, Skillshare has brought in $213.37 versus Udemy at $729.21. So why is this a bonus over Udemy? Well, it's because you can use a Skillshare code as soon as you're an instructor, but becoming an affiliate on Udemy is a bit more involved. But there's something else. The Skillshare referral scheme changed in April 2022, where instead you get 60% of the first payment of a student that signs up to Skillshare Premium. I'm yet to be awarded with one of these to be able to share that with you. Hopefully this change though will have a minimal effect on instructors. Having your courses split over multiple platforms gives instructors a level of protection if something bad happens to one of those income streams. But there are a few things that you need to check before you can put your courses on both platforms. And I discuss what those things are in this video here. 